Hey everyone, so I am making that chicken that I posted on, what did I post it on? Oh, Instagram and Twitter. A lot of people had asked me like what the recipe is and how I made it. So I'll just make it again tonight just to show you guys. Um, my little brother is recording. So once again, this is the Jayla Brene cooking show. <laughs> but all right, so all my ingredients are here that I'll need. We have the, what is this? Thin sliced chicken breast. I like using thin sliced. Um, I think it's easier to cook and the other one takes too long so I like using thin and also just like thin chicken anyways but you can also buy the big ones and cut them in half if that's something you'd rather do if you can't find thin slices either. Um, so the first thing we want to do is wash our chicken of course as well as washing our hands and then we'll get started. Okay, so while washing off the chicken, I realized that my sister, who bought the ingredients for today, <laughs> bought chicken breast cutlets, which that's okay to use. I just prefer just plain chicken breast. Is that the same thing? I don't know. I just never seen the word cutlet on the chicken breast package before. But these are cutlets, so we're gonna work with what we got. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do is season them. So, uh, taking the salt. All right, so you're just gonna take the salt. Sprinkle that, the pepper, sprinkle that, seasoning salt. I know it seems like very like sodialized, I don't know, salty. This guy looks salt, but you can apply as much or as little as you want. I like my chicken seasoned, so literally just a dash of lemon pepper, not much came out on that. And then you're gonna do all of these the same and then flip it and do the same on each. So now that's what I'm gonna do. Now that we have all of our chicken seasoned, we are gonna go ahead and put some vegetable oil in the pan. You just want enough to cover the bottom so it cooks. I may have a little too much, but that's okay. We can work with that. And then you're gonna let the oil heat up. Now we're just gonna take our seasoned chicken, put it in the oil. It doesn't matter, to me at least, what side you put down first. Just as long as they all fit in the pan. Okay, so you just wanna wash it while it's cooking. It doesn't take that long. They say five minutes on both sides, but I like my chicken a little bit crispier. So we can check it. Right now the heat is on medium, that's what I have it. So just to check it, you just want to flip it. And it's cooking well, so we can flip it. I'm still going to flip it back. So just so both sides are cooking evenly. And then we're going to wait for that side to cook. So the chicken is cooking faster on this side. So I'm just flipping them over. Now as you can see it's getting nice and brown and that's what I like to see when I'm like chicken is the brown. So we're going to flip it on this side, let it cook for a few more minutes and then take it out. Okay, so now the chicken is brown I like it. So I'm just going to reduce the heat to low and take out the chicken and put it on a separate plate. Alright, so we're adding in our minced garlic. I add in a lot of garlic. I just love garlic, so I don't care. Then you want to let that simmer and cook. <laughs> They're about. Are you coming to help, Mama? I'm <laughs> gonna let that simmer and cook for about 45 seconds on its own. Then, then you want to take the heavy cream and add that in. You don't need the whole bottle. You're just covering the pan. You can add the whole bottle if you want, but this was a 16 ounce. And I did not use the whole thing. I wish it was see-through so you guys can see that I did not use the whole thing. And you're just gonna let that simmer and cook. We're gonna turn it up to medium. Then my sister got into my spinach. 
Who did one, that? <laughs> this was a fuller bowl of spinach, but my twin sister <laughs> decided to eat almost half the bowl. So you can add in as much spinach as you want. I normally do more, but she ate it. So first of all, she got the chicken cutlets, which are pretty much chicken boobs, and then she ate my spinach, but once again, we're gonna make it work with what we've got. Add in your spinach. <laughs> I really wish there was more. Oh my gosh. Parmesan cheese, grate it. Just put that in there. I also like cheese a lot, but you can add as much or as little as you want. Put the garlic and the parmesan and the cheese. Oh, garlic, parmesan, cheese. <laughs> it all tastes good together. Let's just say that. Next, you're gonna add your Italian seasoning. And a good amount of that. This has, um, I think, oregano, basil, parmesan, all that inside of it. Stir that in there. I wish you guys could smell it. So you're gonna let it cook for about two minutes. Just let it get a little bit thick. And then you're gonna add your chicken back in there. So the sauce is still bubbling. You're just gonna turn it on low and add your chicken back in to let the chicken simmer in your sauce. All right, now I'm just gonna plate the chicken so you can take it out. And it gets thicker as you let it sit. And that's it. <laughs> so now Janae is trying it. <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you like it? She's never had it before. This bad. <laughs> Even my little brother likes it. And he doesn't like spinach, but this is how he eats his spinach. I like mine with a ton of sauce. But, yeah, it's a family meal.